Can that really be you? Come closer. I want to get a better look at you. After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. My trial with the Elder Gods. How did you know? I heard you calling upon Oshtor, and I am not the only one. Wait! Mother! Where did you... Was that really her? Thanks, Hunter. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. Well met. There you are, hun. The intel cache we recovered from Hydra's gunship might seem sophisticated to the casual bystander, but they probably weren't expecting to go up against the likes of me. With Central's help, I can decrypt these babies in no time, providing us a valuable and fascinating glimpse into Hydra's twisted little minds. Hey, Hunter. I'm sure Tony won't mind if I install XCOM on Central. It's for tactical reasons. Here's the latest from Hydra World. Now that we've decrypted the intel, let's put what we've learned to good use. Check out the available hero ops listed on Central. Here if you need me.
It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful contributions. How's it going, boss? No problem. What do you think? I'm here if you need me. Time's wasting, Hunter. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. We've got a situation rapidly developing. I'll be in contact soon, Hunter. Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. So, what do you need? I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual, for real aliens. There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... 
When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted. And I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure. What about us? How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. It's still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. What are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. <laughs> he and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do all the Avengers feel the same? No comment. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. Well, don't leave me in suspense. How are you enjoying the library? I thought we were past that. We are, but I'm still allowed to be annoyed with you. I expect a bit of pushback from the others, but not from you, Hunter. Why not? When have I ever made things easy for you? You had your moments, few and far between, but that's exactly my point. You know what that place, what she meant to me, and you did it anyway. The world is at risk of being consumed by Lilith. We cannot afford to leave any stone unturned, even if it means upsetting you. It's not my feelings I'm worried about. The last time I gave someone free reign at the library, it cost us dearly. I'm not sure we can handle any more unexpected calamities around here. At least we are talking now. Silence between us would only make things worse. You're right about that. We have bigger things to worry about. Like the mouthy alien tormenting Spider-Man as we speak. He did risk himself for us without hesitation. We owe him for that, at least. For once, I think the entire team is in agreement. It's only a matter of tracking Venom down. I would just follow the trail of destruction, but maybe there is another way. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Don't leave poor Spider-Man waiting too long now. I would be rotting inside that creature's gullet if not for Spider-Man. Time to return the favor. We'll find him. We're running facial recognition on every surveillance camera in the cloud. Oh, they just keep moving too fast. Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but you think Team Spooky's doing any better? Nothing. Well, your inflection on that last dactyl was... perfect. 
perhaps a magnetism rune? Against a level five demon alien hybrid? Where did you learn your magic? Demo Khan? You know, you really do have a look. Hunter's right, this isn't working. On to plan C. Well, more like D. Norman won't mind if I borrow a few Oscorp satellites at 45,000 feet, right? Higher, further, faster, baby. 82nd and 5th. Well, between 5th and Madison now. Guys, they're live. And they're trending. Hashtag big alien apple. Not bad. Thanks. Now imagine if you had just asked for our help sooner. No time for an after-school special. Patching it through. Patching it all through. We need to hurry. Do you think any part of Manhattan will still be standing when we get there? From the way Venom was wrecking things, I doubt it. tossing just about anything he can find onto the streets below. There are innocent people down there. Get them to safety before it's too late. have tennis elbow or something by now? We just pull our troubles and bring them home to mother! Subdue this animal and bring it to site one. We'll squish your face in your... Consider switching occupations if I were you, friend. I know, I know, no job's perfect. But at the end of the day, it's all about the co-workers. of you all to come by and visit the old neighborhood. I'd say let's all stop for a group selfie, but Eddie might get a little jealous. I cannot fathom why one of my mother's fallen is so obsessed with you. I'm not sure what any of that means, but Eddie and I were doing our thing here in New York way before those horns grew out of his head. 
I've never known him to pick on civilians, though. We need to get these people out of his way. Hell. Not slow me down. Guess we're not done. Serve her with honor. Don't waste the opportunity. Lilith must not have left instructions for Hydra on how to control her new pet. Can't say I feel sorry for them. But there's still civilians trapped here, too. Oh, cool. I can hear her, too, talking in my head. It's a comm system, the same one I activated in your suit. Right, that was going to be my next guess. Here you go. Leave some for the rest of us. Dorks make a move yet? You are free. Leave this place. The civilians are clear. It's open season on Hydra and their pet monstrosity. They will be the next to fall in the hunt. Wow. You two ever work with a guy named Craven? How much is Lilith paying you guys anyway? Hey, it can't be enough. I'm going for it. Right, feeling it. Contingency plan. 
for victory. Lilith would be embarrassed by your weakness. Feeling brave? Now's your chance to hone those skills of yours. Don't leave any Hydra standing. Have you been eating Hydra again, Eddie? Your breath is almost worse than your bite. All the food we need is right in front of us. Where do you think you're going? Mechanical combat suit almost seems like I see how it is. We may have a problem here. Fear is temporary. I am forever. Get you done anyway, we know how. Anyone see the target? You know, you're pretty good at this. You were too weak for this fight. Got them all. Now let's get to Venom and stop all this. No more games. No more running. You can't stop us, heroes. is a definite maybe. Weak, even for Hydra. You will 
suffer for that! Spider-Man's lead here. He's the expert when it comes to Venom. Um, thanks. I recommend giving him a wide berth. Especially if he's feeling huggy. The light will heal you. Welcome, assistants. to still be breathing. We should not underestimate this thing. More of them are joining the fight. Why fight heroes? Embrace mother's love. Your struggles are pointless. And they spoil the meat. Is he always like this? I wouldn't take it personally. Eddie always gets extra grumpy when he's hungry. I think he's bad. You should see Jameson if he doesn't get his morning bagel. Your time has come. Nothing can save you from us, little spider. 
Not heroes. Not puny soldiers. We will never stop. Until you are ours! I believe him. We need to put an end to this fight soon before he brings down the entire city. Just give up now. This should help. card or something. Why is it always about the origins, huh? Should come in handy. building one of those suits for me. but there has to be some evolutionary implications for this human-slime hybrid. This should be good. Do you think Lilith saw that? I hope so. This is a great victory, everyone.
the damned Wendigo! Unstoppable! Oh, he's not unstoppable. Just... really annoying. Huh. Not my worst idea ever. Good afternoon, Demo Venom! Here's a special request from all of New York to you, our slobbiest invader since Thanos. Looking stronger than ever, kiddo. Whatever the good Dr. Faustus was up to? Anything going on today? Yes, Nico wants to speak with you. Do so before you sleep. Can you tell me what this is about? No. Hunter! I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Lead the way. Let's do it! Nico will tell you our purpose. So, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death? Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. 
How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask Magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Yes? How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, Strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting, and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode? A very small chance. Unlikely. How concerned should I be about exploding? Slightly more than usual. Does Strange have any other details about the ritual? Ha! Far too many. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico, and don't explode. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. The Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right. Emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. Uh, how does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's staff of one to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual... The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, Nay! Doctor Strange, the ritual, how does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. Just tell me what to expect. Ah, yes. You will focus on recalling what was lost as we do everything in our power to restore it. Simple, really. Boom! <laughs> A little joke. Tiny. Like your chance to explode. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you do. I raced through the Abbey grounds, angry, terrified. It is too late. We were not ready for this fight. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot... No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally.
You don't seem any worse for wear, but do inform me if you experience any lingering mystical oddities. Metacosmic soul rot is no laughing matter. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.